Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make an RC mini soccer bot in the 1kg segment. This bot is lightweight with a total weight of only 620 grams, and it's controlled wirelessly using the NRF24L01 transceiver module. I'll also be sharing an efficient Arduino code that allows you to control the bot with precision and smooth movement. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future update. First, we'll need a 3D design slope for the front part of the bot. For the base, I'm using a PVC board to hold everything together. The drive system includes four TT yellow gear motors, and for motor control, we'll use an L298N motor driver. For wireless communication, I've used a transmitter and receiver based on the NRF24L01 module. If you haven't seen how to build the transmitter module, please check out the previous video on my channel where I covered it in detail. Let's start building the hardware section. First, I'm attaching all four motors to the PVC board. The two motors on the right side are connected in parallel, and similarly, the two motors on the left side are connected in parallel. The wiring is done in such a way that both motors on each side rotate in the same direction. For the power system, I'm using an XT60 connector to connect a 12-volt battery to the circuit. I've also added a buck converter to step down the voltage and provide a constant 5-volt supply to the receiver module. I've connected the XT60 connector and buck module input with motor driver power supply terminal. Before connecting the buck module to the receiver, it's important to adjust its output to exactly 5 volt. The motor driver and buck converter both take 12 volt as input, while the output of the buck converter is 5 volt, which powers the receiver. Now I'm using a connector to wire the receiver's Arduino pins to the motor driver's control pins. You can refer to the pin mapping table I've shown on the screen for accurate connections. Then connect the 5 volt output terminal of buck module with receiver power supply port, where the Arduino and NRF module gets power from it. Once everything is connected properly, I've powered up the system. All components are receiving power as expected. Then I connected the left and right motor outputs to the motor driver. After that, I carefully arranged the entire setup inside the soccer bot's body. With the electronics in place, I've attached the 3D printed slope at the front of the bot. And secured the components using tape. For the power source, I've used three pieces of 3.7 volt lithium ion batteries in series, which gives a total output of 12 volt. Finally, I've attached the wheels. Now come to the transmitter code. First, we start by including the necessary libraries. SPI for communication, and the NRF24L01 NRF24 libraries for handling the wireless transceiver. Install the RF24 library from the Arduino IDE Library Manager. Then we define the analog pins connected to our joystick. We initialize the radio object with CE and CSN connected to pins 9 and 10. 
and we define a common address to use for communication. Inside the setup function, we start initializing the radio module and set it to transmitter mode. Now in the loop, we read the analog values from the joysticks X and Y axes. The values range from 0 to 1023. Next, we format the message as a comma-separated string, like this 590 and 620. Finally, we send this string using the radio.write function. The C string method converts the message to a C style string. Now select the board Arduino Nano processor and port and upload the code in the transmitter Arduino. Now come to the receiver code. First, we include the required libraries as before. Here, we initialize the radio object and define the address to receive data from the transmitter. Make sure the address matches on both sides transmitter and receiver. Next, we define motor control pins for two motors, left and right, using L298 and motor driver logic. We'll store joystick data in receive data, and default joystick positions are set to 590, typically the idle center value. Now in the setup function, we configure the motor pins as output. Then, we set up the radio module to listen to incoming data. Inside the loop, we check if data is available from the radio. If yes, we read it and split it using commas to separate X and Y values. We then convert them to integers and update the last signal time. We use a simple failsafe to stop the motors if the signal is lost for more than 500 milliseconds. Then we call the handle joystick and motor control function. The handle joystick function processes the joystick X and Y values. It checks if the user wants to move forward, backward, or turn. Based on those values, we calculate motor directions and speeds using the map function. If the joystick is tilted diagonally, we mix turning and forward or backward motions for smoother control. This adjusts motor speeds dynamically to achieve the turn. We use the constrain function to ensure the speed stays between 0 and 255, and ignore tiny values below 70 to prevent the buzzing sound of the motor. The set motor direction function controls the direction of each motor by toggling the H-bridge pins accordingly. The motor control function sets the speed using PWM. Lastly, the stop motors function safely stops the car by setting PWM to zero and all direction pins low. Now select the board Arduino Nano processor and port and upload the code in the receiver Arduino. Now, it's time for a final test run. Watch closely to understand how the controller operate. One common issue you might face is reverse joystick movement. For example, when I push the joystick backward, the robot moves forward, and when I push it forward, the robot moves backward. Just simple interchange the motor terminal connected to the motor driver's motor terminals.
That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching the full video.